the, the settings and materials I showed you, you will have such a result. It is quite good, but uh, we can improve it. Well, firstly, I forgot to add a reflection map for the wood. So go to the wood diffuse and create a reflection uh, map. Add the Fresno. Go to the perpendicular and add a shader. The shader will be the texture itself. And make it 0 0.35. Make there 0 0.7 and 0 0.85 it's okay go to fung and add some shaders in, in this uh, maps these images are reflection images are desaturated and 0 0.88 the same thing in reflection glossiness bitmap file and reflection map almost done the bump is ok ok we have a wood material fixed also uh, the bowls doesn't look good also the sink needs some improvements the handles are too bright let's fix this so firstly for the handles let's add a Cooker stop material. It, it will be good, and the the handles will be more will have more darkness. Go to the cooker top material and make it more black. Okay. Also, we need some chrome material for the bowls. So go to and open a Wismut material collection. Metal and metal chrome open it and with this material well maybe first let's make the color black and now we can add chrome for the bowls cooking bowls and also there are more places where we can add it well firstly to these pipes let's apply it and good okay go back also we uh, have our sink not good so let's add metal iron for it right click load material and find metal iron only one thing to do is to change a oops we have a metal iron also okay. so let's find it there is the metal iron here we go grab it and make the color something like this you can see the value is something around 100 and mad add let's apply this material for the sink can delete this uh, material and well we also have to fix oops some lag okay we have some bad things in the connection with doors and ceilings and floors to fix this we are going to create some metal uh, junctions I will show you how draw a simple rectangle make a group open it extrude and select everything and round the corners one millimeter three segments and let's color it the brushed steel material sorry we can now copy this rectangle or box to the top also let's do it 
grab the top and using arrow keys drag it to the ceiling and also let's copy uh, one pipe down there it's okay well what is more we have well SketchUp is stopping it's good now and you can see that the ceilings and the ceiling and the wall is too bright so for the wall we can make it darker find the wall material wall color and make it more dark and for the ceiling we are going to add a Gibson material from the Vismet material collection so let's load the material and go to architecture and Gibson it's ok select it let's open the ceiling and apply the material also uh, we need some roundings between the ceiling and the walls so hide turn on hidden geometry select all the lines except the plane and let's copy that line grab a corner and make one more copy and type in 40 millimeters it's ok unhide our ceiling hidden geometry off and select gypsum and color these roundings all these roundings where you can find it also you can do it in living room and dining room zone in bedroom also okay what is more and the more uh, we need some roundings on the sharp corners for example down there and there so let's round the edges select the edges and round them by one millimeter also you can do the same with the door corners and I recommend using in this place a metal chrome material for the handle also and for the base of the door chrome material it's good and let's see what we have now the render looks much better now you see only uh, wall color is not good so let's decrease the, the color wall co color and let's make some more white color and more yellow color it will be good now and well there is a one only thing left it's an image quality and I will show you how to get a quality in the last uh, tutorial video